Today we're going to be talking about the material editor in Revit and just kind of an introduction to that and then as as this grouping of, of videos moves along we'll get into creating custom materials and all the things that kind of come with that. So if we go to our manage tab over here on the left hand side we can hit materials and open up the material editor in Revit and you'll see we've got a couple of a couple things to notice right away. We have our, our list of default materials that come in with the template. There's quite a few of them, um, as well as kind of some information about whatever material we have selected. So as we click different materials, this is going to sort of change here. But then we also have a couple tabs at the top. So we've got a graphics tab for this material. We also have an identity. We have an appearance, physical, and thermal properties for each material. Down here at the bottom uh, we can see we can open um, our own if we've created a bunch of materials ourselves we can open our own sort of library we can create new materials or duplicate whatever material we have selected and then off to the side here we also have the option to open and close an additional window of additional materials that are built into Revit. So these are not the only materials that are built into Revit. There's an entire library full of additional additional pieces that you may want to want to load in at various times. So basically what we have here is we'll use let's say we just use this brick common option here. Um, the identity tab is all the sort of text information for it. So it you can have what type it is, um, a description, this is sort of the name um, of, the, of the option here, uh, as well as the description of what it is. You can add comments, keywords, manufacturers, all of that sort of stuff built into your model uh, for your own reference purposes and things like that. Um, the graphics tab is what does this look like in a model view. So not a realistic view if you remember down here we've got our visual style under hidden line this view shows us what does it look like in the graphics tab so we're gonna see a brick hatch on it what color is that brick hatch gonna show up right now it's black um, we can change the texture alignment on that um, that's the surface pattern we can also add a secondary pattern to it so if we want to show something underneath that brick pattern we can throw something else in there. And then what does this material look like when it's being cut through in a section? So if we were to run a section through a brick wall, what would it show up as in that section? And then what color is that pattern? And then adding a background as well. The appearance tab, this is what does it look like when it's rendered. So the render appearance uh, of each material is under the appearance tab. And it'll show you a little preview here of what that's going to look like. The physical properties, if we drop these down, we can see some general information about this, this um, material. So like it says, the physical properties of it. So how heavy it is um, in the case of brick. And then the thermal properties, uh, this comes into play when you're using the analyze tab. So if you're going to be running a like energy analysis or thermal um, analysis of a building, uh, this has to be populated for it to reflect somewhat accurately. So the permeability, uh, thermal conductivity, specific heat, density, all of that sort of stuff is where you can build that in here. Most of the default materials all have this put together. Um, so if you were to create your own material, you would need to input some of this data if you're going to use it for analysis purposes. So. That's a, a brief overview of the, of the material editor. Uh, we'll be getting into the graphics tab um, in the next video.